We're going to begin with a tragedy that's shaken a Philadelphia family to its core. Last weekend, a mother of three was shot and killed while doing something her loved ones said she did all the time, helping someone else. And for more on the search for those responsible and what happened, we turn to Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson. Uh, live today at police headquarters, Sharifa. Yeah, Brian Sayer, the victim identified as 44 year old Clea Robinson, a single mother who leaves behind three children. Her family says that she was in the wrong place at the wrong time and so many people heartbroken tonight because they say this woman gave so much to the community and the entire city of Philadelphia. My sister wasn't old. She's 44 years old. Like this should not have happened. Dwayne Croom says 44 year old Clea Robinson was his only sister and a great mother to her three children ages 12, 16 and 22. It's such a sad and hurtful situation that she was caught up in something so crazy when she had nothing to do with it. Action News was there early Saturday morning and showed you the aftermath of the double shooting on East Allegheny Avenue where nearly 50 shots were fired. Police say Robinson and a 21 year old woman were both shot. Robinson died from her injuries. Family members say they don't know why she was at that location, but investigators do not believe she was the intended target. Everybody loved her and she helped. That's what she did. She helped everybody. Family believe she was helping someone at the time she was killed. Today, Robinson's being remembered for her selflessness and giving back. I'm still bursting with pride every time we talk about it. Around the good here. deeds even like made local and national news. In 2018, she was featured on ABC News for her role in helping a homeless student in Philadelphia get a full ride scholarship to Harvard University. At the time, she was a teacher at Mighty Writers. I'm receiving phone calls and text message from people I haven't heard from or talked to in years just because of how much of an impact she had on their lives. Her family devastated, especially for her children, left without a mother, also homeschooled, and left without a teacher. They're lost right now. They don't really know what to do because, like I said, they're loved, and, but she was like their everything. Yeah, family, they say they are praying for justice and they hope that a suspect or suspects are caught soon. So far, there have been no arrests. As far as the other woman injured in this shooting, the 21 year old, she is listed in a critical but stable condition. We're live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Yeah, another story of the deep and lasting impact of the gun violence. Sharifa, thank you.